I forgot the recording, sorry. <laughs> Go on. So anyway, I looked and I went, oh, Chador's Da. Well, it took me a little <laughs> while. Everybody's laughing, you know, yes. and I finally got the Shudwa part. And uh, there were a few other names too. I just totally killed. <laughs> <laughs> so hence it's I found out the Belgian influence up here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but um Another thing that I wanted to mention was I was talking to Ginny Hain, who just retired recently from the museum, oh. and uh, she's still volunteering there. And she and I had been gathering together a um, list of what they have over there and what we have of high school yearbooks and um, directories. And she um, let me have a copy of, of photocopy or just of photographs of uh, 1887 phone directory. Has anyone ever heard of that? No. Mm -hmm. oh, Mark, wow. we, we didn't have it here. Um, if you'd like to see it, it's really for the state of Wisconsin. Oh, okay. um, it's just okay. a couple pages, but it's kind of fascinating, I think, because here, I'll show you. I, um, I just made a little thing out of it. Do you all see that? Not yet. Oh, not yet. Yeah. Not yet. There it is. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So this is the directory itself for the state. You can see 1887. Okay. And then the next page, it just mentions a little bit. She didn't send the whole thing, just the uh, appropriate pages uh, to do with Door County. So that tells, and there's the map of where there were phone lines in 1887. Can you believe that? Oh, my word. And no. then um, this is Sturgeon. Uh, is this no more about it? And then this is Sturgeon Bay. So we get this, you can see the names there. Kind of interesting. It? That's it, huh? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh, wow. wow. So well, I was- I've yes. seen the Milwaukee one. I've gone down to their, uh, I think it's the library. I think it's at the library in Milwaukee downtown. And they've got, <clears throat> unfortunately, the paper, the actual paper copies of the, of the uh, phone directories from, I forget how, back in the, late 1800s and mm -hmm. of course they're, they're falling apart you know which yeah. is too bad uh, the whole thing's falling apart but what can you do you know you'd think some of those would be digitized or you would um, think so yeah. but they weren't let's see i went down there what, about six years ago because mm -hmm. i was i was looking up my, my one of my uh, families it's got the same name as as a large contingent of people in milwaukee and, and I just wanted to see if they were related. And they probably are, but way, way earlier than we, you know, me, <laughs> you know, so they probably are related, but because uh, the name is fairly common. But, but well, like, I put, um, I just printed out those pages and put it in the glass case with the other directories. Our earliest yeah. directory is uh, something like 1916 for Sturgeon Bay. So um, the other interesting thing is I, print out periodically pay a page from the old newspapers and put it near my desk. And right now I have one where they laid the first from the advocate, I think it's 1914, they laid the first cable underwater to Europe. So they could have oh, telephone yeah. calls to Europe. So, so wow. Yeah, yeah, pretty early. And they're so <laughs> excited, they practically a whole page for that story and showing um, all the important people involved in it. So that's kind of fun. Um, the other thing Ginny gave me is, um, which I didn't have, I don't know wh where it would be, but we should have it here, but I have never seen it. And that's a, an index for the plat maps for 1899 and 1914. Mm. It was done, they were done by uh, Sally Freckle some years ago. <laughs> so I photocopied that and put it in the history room, which is kind of nice. Um, I was talking to Mary Jane Herber in Green Bay, and um, she was telling me how they're they have a big project going on to to index their plat maps. So that's how I got on this subject. And then Ginny mentioned that she had this, so it'd be nice to have them all indexed at one point. But so far we have um, those two. What or is that something index. that could be put on the website? Yeah, I um, I was thinking about it. Um, it's quite a few pages, but I would. Um, you know, it's just like that other uh, database with all the <laughs> church records. I can just put it in a PDF format and put it on, but that's That'd be not great, the best. Because the plant books are out there, so it'd be yeah. great to have the index. Yeah, maybe I'll I'll try to do that. Um, 
I'll I'll work on that. It's they're pretty no long. rush That's someday when you get a chance. Yeah. Yeah, we don't have anything to do. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was glad to get this index and um, the fact that Mary Jane Herbert's doing a big project with students from somewhere made me feel pretty good that we have that much. Um, these days, when you take pictures, you know, you can just have Google identify the words in them. We talked about that, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's so, sort of the next step forward. Um, the other interesting- stand, You mentioned that about the church records. Where do we stand on that? Well, no. both Steve and I were trying to figure out um, what we can do to get them online. We haven't got a really good solution yet to make them really searchable. That's mm -hmm. the problem. Yeah. Yeah. I've, um, I also have a problem with our newspaper pr project. Um, we have to update that somehow and, and that I'm kind of dealing with that right now. That concerns me first. <laughs> yeah. So the, the, What's the on, problem with the newspaper project? I use that all the time. It's on a county server that they want to uh, get rid of. So we're trying and they want to have it updated for security reasons. So we're trying to figure out what to do about it. Oh. But yeah, yeah we need, oh, it's hi, unfortunate hi. we don't have my, some my some whiz phone. kid computer and, person um, <laughs> in our yeah. do all this I'll stuff, you know. Well, I have people phone. who can help, but um, it's a oh, you know so managing juggling everybody get to yeah. get it done. So we'll see. Bye -bye. Um, and what was the other thing? Maybe it could oh. be a class project from the high school. Yeah, no, this has to be high security. It's for the county. That's part of it. Um, there's so many hacks going on. They have standards they have to meet. So that's part of the problem right there. Um, but we're working on it. The other thing is um, at the back of that book that she gave me with those two indexes were some Jackson Port Township plat maps from early years going back to the 1800s. Now, as you know, the ones we have here are 1890, official ones are 1899 on, but these were like 1870. There were like four of them. And it looks like, this is kind of interesting. It looks like someone printed out the 1899 map and then drew in the names. So it was done by someone who was apparently in the Jackson Port a board of directors or whatever they're called. And so he's actually written in all of the names of who owned the property. And the first one, I wish I had brought them with me. The first one um, shows uh, mainly US. So I'm thinking that's all patents, land patents mainly. And then as you go forward, there are more and more people earning, um, owning the property, but that would be so neat to have those for the whole county. <laughs> it's gotta be a huge, huge project. So there's another project someone could take on someday. So those are the two interesting things that I've added um, to the history room. And basically that's what I have to say first. Does anyone have anything to add of what you've been working on? I have a question. I guess yeah. from what I hear in the paper, the archive project at Yonkers is done. It's gone. It's over. They're not going to do anything because the building's too costly to remodel. Did no, I, I think that? there's there were different plans and some of them include building out the back of the current museum and okay. extending that building. Um, so that okay. sort of thing sounds feasible. Okay. But not the Yonkers building. From what I've heard, yes, it's it's not worth yeah, saving. It's too expensive. It's too expensive. But I'm not really in on the inside of that. I'm you know? just it on yeah. what was in the paper, you know. Okay. Yeah. We'll have to wait and see. Um, yeah. As yeah. you know, Steve Rice is involved with that because he's right. the manager of the museum and archives now. So yeah. I think they're planning on doing something. It's just what format they'll mm -hmm. finally come out with. Good. Well, Laura, are you <clears throat> building out the back of the current museum? Does that direction, is that towards that house on Michigan that's next to it? That there's a white house? It's that um, old jail. There is an old brick house that was a jail at one time. That's gone. Okay. Well, um, we took that down a while back. I'm going to have to go take a look at that because. 
Mm -hmm. To me, the, the back of the museum would be towards the east, correct? Yeah. Yeah, kind of. That's how I'd look at it too. Yeah, okay. Isn't there, boy, I've got to look at it again, but isn't there like a little alley or something there? And then east of that was a white residence at one time. There was a white brick residence, which was originally a jail. And it okay. was kind of creepy because it didn't have many windows. <laughs> I was okay. in it a few times and they were storing um, archive papers in there. Oh, okay. Okay. That's what I was for, thinking. Yeah. yeah. For quite okay. a long time, those have been moved. And then they, they took that building down. The county bought that, had that property, and they took down that building. So now it's just a lot, empty lot. Oh, okay. So if, if the museum was thinking of going that direction or the county, you know, whatever, they have the land. It would be a new addition, basically, or an yes. addition. Yeah. Yeah. And okay. they did a um, they did a little program on the options. I think they had four options. There's somewhere online, or I saw the paperwork somewhere. If you're really interested, I could dig it out for you. Oh, that's all right. But I'm with Tom. Yeah. I read the same article, and it seemed as if the county wanted to unload the old Yonkers building to me. And, that's what I uh, got the impression of, because it was going to be too expensive to remodel. Right, that they didn't at feel least for it. that purpose. Yeah. Yeah, but I think it, they'll use the land, some of the land for this whole development one way or another. That's my understanding. They may have a parking lot yeah. in part of the land and that mm -hmm. sort of thing. So, um, and there was that parking lot, if you will, to the Yonkers building, mm -hmm. um, right. just uh, north of the museum. Yeah. Does, does anybody know what was in there before Yonkers? Does anybody oh, know? Right. I, I have to look it up. I, here, but, huh? I gotta really think on that. I mean, yeah, it wasn't Prangies. Sure. Prangies was in the, the, the old third avenue. Yeah, but didn't yeah. Prangies have an extension where the Yonkers is, or the furniture? I don't know. I don't know. I thought Prangies had some of that, or that building. Mm hmm. hmm. I don't. Yeah, it's been so long. I'm just curious. Yeah, <laughs> just curious. I actually Maybe have Sanborn. I have 1944 Sanborn maps here. Um. <laughs> <laughs> on my flash drive. Um, let me quickly see. Well, I don't know. It takes a while to pinpoint all this stuff. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> what What were they on? Fourth? Yeah, the fourth, fourth in uh, Louisiana, I think. Well, yeah. yeah. Well, let one me share my screen and see. The post it. office. Isn't that one down from the post office? Yeah. Yeah. Louisiana. Yeah. Okay, here's the uh, 1944 Sanborn well, map. Church. They're St. Joseph's Church. Well, here's the museum right down in the in the lower corner there. You see that? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And like then it's showing um yeah, it's just showing Hope Church. Yeah, congregation. Wow. Which is not there anymore, is it? I don't think it's there. There's I no think it it was moved, wasn't it, at one time up over across the street from across Kentucky? Oh, I don't know. Um, that it's an apartment building now. I, I saw something that said that was Hope Church. But anyway, 19, now we know. It was 1940, was I wasn't even a glimmer in my dad's eye. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> so, that's kind of interesting. Yeah, I love um, look. I love looking at old maps and plant yeah. maps and so on. Mm. Yeah, Speaking I agree. Of that there was another thing that was put out about Dave Ramsey's just a blurb, just a real quick blurb that that they've been um, taking the old maps and and digitally that they have and overlaying maps of the same area and time to get a time frame of it. So I thought that was kind of interesting. Well, that's uh, that sounds a lot like what yeah. Laura was talking about, that Jacksonport map. Yeah, you know, that, that they took 1899 and then the he, he just wrote, he just hand wrote in all sorts of names. From yeah, what he did. This was all digitized. Yeah. He, I mean, this he, is out in San Francisco, so mm -hmm. I'm sure they got all kinds of 
computer Help. gurus out there yeah. <laughs> to do it, yeah. to do the work. That'd be neat. Yep. Yeah. Well, okay. Well, well we, I, go on. I was just going to say we probably for the other people that was that were uh, weren't quite there yet at three o'clock or two o'clock. We decided we're going to write some form of an article, an article to go in the uh, uh, pulse to uh, at sort of advertise our group to see if we can get more people to show up. And um, I volunteered to write the first draft. All of you others volunteered to critique it. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I'll try to get it out next week as best I can. And then um, because then we could maybe we can make the you know the pulse in time for the for the March meeting, which would be on the third of March. You know, that would be our next meeting. Maybe we could make it that Friday before, which was what the that would be the uh, 28th of no, yeah, 20, no, it can't be the 28th. Well, whatever and, it is. And um, yeah. Yeah. Maybe the radio yeah. stations, if anyone wants to go on WDOR. No, <laughs> no, no. no. Know, that, that's no, funny. No. You talked about, <clears throat> excuse me, the newspaper articles. There, <clears throat> I researched in Virginia. And um, boy, I'd have to look up the dates. But for about a 10-year stretch in the Richmond... Times Dispatch newspaper, they would, they had a, a column, uh, came out on Sundays, genealogy note, or genealogical notes, I think they called it. And um, they would, the writer of the article would um, uh, somehow or other choose a family um, to highlight. And so reading a lot of that, and then I dismissed one that, you know, didn't pertain to my family or my area. And she'd highlight the different areas uh, around Richmond. And it was a very in-depth um, historical genealogical items. Um, the column ran, oh golly, six, seven columns and sometimes continued on another page. But the point was it stirred up a lot of interest because then the following week, you'd have all these letters either to the editor or to the columnist saying, um, first of all, would you highlight my family, so-and-so and whatnot, or others who added to whatever the column had been about. And it was quite popular apparently. And I have found a lot of information uh, information on various parts of my family in Virginia, in the Caroline County area, which was somewhat close to Richmond. Um, but it was quite well done. Um, so I guess that what I'm saying is the power of the print is still there. And I think, you know, if we can get like the pulse or whatever to, you know, maybe do consider something like that. Um, I don't know, it might stir up some interest too. You know, the other thing we could do too, I was just thinking about this because about somebody mentioned that there was people from the Northern Door area that was interested, but they didn't <laughs> want to join us or something. Um, <clears throat> maybe maybe we, you can work out, you guys can work out a, a deal at the uh, library there where you could have the Zoom um, screen up, you know, at the library in the conference room on the, on the, um, TV that's in there, and then people could come there for the for our Thursday meeting. I don't know. What do you think? You guys think about it from up there? Do you think that's would make it easier? Well, you know, for people, what I'm I'm trying <clears throat> to get is the people who are uncomfortable with using the computer like that. Mm -hmm. You know, they either don't have a computer that they feel, or they don't feel um, that they're qualified to use it, you know, to do that. But if they can come to the library at two o'clock on the first Thursday and, and then participate in our meeting, maybe that would be a way of it in getting the Northern Door group back together. What do you guys think? You Northern Door guys, Dave, 
Probably an iPhone. Yeah, I, and I Mr. Think, iPhone. I think the connection, uh, the internet connection up in Northern Door is not really compatible with with True. Zoom. That's a good. Uh, that's a good point. So, yeah. it, uh, I think the library idea might be worthwhile. Could talk to Christina up there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I don't know why you guys can have to set it up or something. But then, you know, maybe, you know, like, uh, what's her name? Um, Gretchen and wouldn't, you know, maybe she'd come to that. Maybe Don and I don't know about Don and Don Myrma, and Myrma. Yeah. Myrma, but uh, what's it, what's that other uh, gray hair? Not gray hair, that helps. Gray hair and tall <laughs> woman. <laughs> oh, what's her name? I can't even think what her name is. Uh, but she was always. I know Ann Lewis would might be interested. Yeah, Ann Lewis. And, um, and uh, what's the one with the flowers? The nursery yeah. in the summer. Yeah, because <laughs> I see her at the library once in a while. She, oh, works she was Grace. Place. Grace. Grace. Yeah. Yeah, Grace. She might be interested. And then there's also um, the the uh, the Czech guy. Uh, what's his name? God, I'm, my mind is gone. Oh, geez. Oh well. I mean, well, there were several about, people uh, there. Uh, you know. Fred, Fred and Naomi, I, forget, I think their last name was Burkhalter. Ber, Burkmeister or something Burke, like that. Burke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, now, I don't know. Fred how is not doing. doing real well, so Naomi spends most of her time home with him. Yeah, that's oh, what I was, I was wondering yeah. about how Fred was doing. But there yeah. was the, the couple that was at, they live in those condos right there by, uh, behind Pick and Save. Um, yeah. Oh, what is their name? <laughs> He was always very Stroka. active. He, he, huh? Stroka. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he Ron, was very active, Ron, in, you know, at the library on Tuesdays. So yep. uh, maybe, you know, I here's, don't know. Here's Steve Johnson joining us. Okay. Hey, Steve. You know, hey, also, Steve. I was thinking, um, <clears throat> I met Ginny Hain, well, when I first moved here, uh, I don't know, in the 80s, in some kind of an organization, forgot what it was. But the point was, I think I was getting my feet wet in genealogy a bit at the time. And she had done an awful lot of genealogy, knew an awful lot about it, that I wonder if, I don't know, Laura, she might have something that's, to add. Yeah, that's the old or, Peninsula Genealogical Society that disbanded. And um, oh. I've mentioned it to them, but you know, they just don't seem to come. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh. It was just a connection, maybe. Even she might want to write something for the, yeah. for the Pulse. Ooh, I don't know. A volunteer? Just, yeah, I'll volunteer her. <laughs> I yeah. haven't seen her in umpteen years, but. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, some good ideas. We'll sort of play with them. Yeah. 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 Uh, I wanted to share something here. Uh, remember last month, Laura, you, you talked about researching in the newspaper. And um, so I, I did a little of that. Uh, after the family name on my, on my grandmother's side is Marcel. And they, they had uh, nine children. And uh, they were in a farmhouse over in, um, on County Road S. So this little article I ran across, I'd like to share it with you. It was in the Door County Advocate, March of 1915. Excuse, excuse me a minute, Dave. I think Steve, mute yourself. Can you mute yourself, Steve? There, your radio and something's coming through. Uh, Thank okay, you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. This, this article was, uh, it was about my grandmother's sister, and the article reads like this, while Miss Lillian Marcel and Carl Oden were on their way to Sawyer last Wednesday evening, their horse became unmanageable and <laughs> ran away. The, the cutter was smashed up a little bit, but both of the occupants escaped without a scratch. <laughs> of, course, of course, they had to walk all the way back home but as walking was good, we are sure they didn't mind it. <laughs> you imagine that? My what year was this? What year did you say this was? 
1915, <laughs> March of 1915. Let's see, that was after, okay, so the, the canal was there too. The Sawyer's on the wrong side. <laughs> well, yeah, but they lived on the Sawyer side. Oh, they lived on the Sawyer side, okay. Yeah, yeah, they had a cherry orchard uh, off of County Road S. Uh, oh, okay, right okay. Where, yeah, right where the, uh, the government buildings are, right in that area. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, so. That was years and years ago, of course. Yeah. <laughs> over, 100, over 100 even. <laughs> Absolutely, yes. yes. So I thought I'd share that with you. Uh, I just keyed the Marcel name on mm -hmm. Advocates and uh, this article popped up and there were several, several others as well, but I thought this was kind of a, a nice story to tell uh, for the group. Yeah. So there, there's some really good ones in there. Um, yeah. My ancestor told how to get rid of frostbite by putting your arm in a pail of wet uh, barley or something. Yeah. <laughs> I love that one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, one thing I'd like to show you quickly is um, if anyone's interested, there's a new thing on one of the digital apps that we have called Hoopla. Has anyone used Hoopla? I do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have something new. I This is what I had to write an article for um, the um, Pulse about, they have something new called binge passes. And I happened to see one video in there that I think you may be interested in. Let me share my screen here. Um, the way you get to this, let me see if I can find it. I think it's this one. Um, this is, oh, that black screen at the top gets in the way. It just came through today. What was that? Uh, this this particular uh, rendition of Hoopla just came on my email today. Oh yeah, um, it has to be updated. They say, but um, now I probably can't get back in there easily. I had it all logged in. I'm using my Illinois library because I used up all my Downers Grove library <laughs> <laughs> checkouts. <laughs> but they have these new things, and the way to find them is under binge passes. And we also have magazines. They don't list that here. The Illinois Library doesn't have that. But a lot of you probably know the great courses. They're mm -hmm. college yeah. classes by professors around the country. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure how much is in here that would deal with genealogy and family history, but um, I haven't really looked. But you can see it's just endless classes mm -hmm. um, on all, uh, tons of subjects. And when you look at a class, um, you'll see there's a professor who did, teaches a class. I think there's a few genealogy or family history subjects. And then uh, each <laughs> session is there. And the way this works on Hoopla is you check out one binge pass for great courses and you have unlimited use for a week of all of these classes. So it's pretty neat. And the other binge pass that I really like a lot is called Curiosity Stream. And this one is all documentaries. And um, I did watch this one. I'm pretty sure this is the one that um, has to do with family history. Well, here's, um, if you're not, if you're familiar with uh, Spencer Wells, he was a director of the National Geographic Genomic Project. And he gave a lecture here on um, haplogroups and early DNA. Um, then this one is really interesting because it sort of goes behind the scenes in um, all of these companies. So, um, whoops, I would highly recommend having a look at um, these, this video as it sort of goes behind the scenes at Ancestry and it's pretty interesting. So give that new binge pass a try. And if you need help, let me know, but I would highly recommend um, giving those a try. So if you check out one week of Curiosity Stream, unlimited documentaries on tons of subjects. Or Laura, what's the difference between Hoopla and Libby? Um, Hoopla is, we subscribe, some libraries subscribe, some don't. We do. We allow you five checkouts a month. Um, Libby is the entire state of Wisconsin in one app. And they allow you to check out up to 10 things at one time. But you might have to wait a long time for um, a popular item. Um, whereas on Hoopla, you never wait, you can check it out immediately. And now they have those new binge passes, which is pretty neat. 
Um, with Libby, there's quite a, it's a gigantic collection, but as you, if you've used it, you see, you might have to wait quite a while. They also have Libby a lot is, of magazines now. Libby is L-I-B-B-Y or L-I-B-B-I-E? L-I-B-B-Y. Here, I'll show okay. you. I think I have that one here too. Let me. That's where I get magazines now, and it used to be a different one, and it changed to Libby. I like the old one better, but uh, maybe I'll try Hoopla. Hoopla has magazines too? Um, with Libby, the thing is, um, they had, it was called, it's called, over, the company is Overdrive. Uh -huh. And um, here's what it looks like, I think, if I can pull yep. this up. Whoops, of course, I do the opposite of what I want to do. Um, you can go, to, you can download the app, and then you can, uh, why am I not seeing what I want to see? Do you see this here? Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. There, yeah. there I go. Um, you can download the app to Apple devices or to um, um, Android devices, and then it'll look just like this, or you can stream online. Yeah. Basically, yeah. this is the, um, the Libby one. They, you search for books. Here's the library mm -hmm. itself. Um, you search for books over here. You get all your library card information here. If you have a card in another area, you can add that. So you have multiple cards. They'll show all of your books on one shelf. And then this is your shelf, your loans, books you have on hold, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. I cannot so download it on Kindle, however, but I can get it on my uh, Apple products. And also yeah. on, on the Microsoft. Kindles are tricky and there's ins and outs. I'm trying to figure it out right now, but they do make it harder for you. But, but then you once you both. have these, yeah, go on. You can get it on Overdrive though, uh, through Kindle. <clears throat> the same information, yeah. the same books. So this is a good book. This is Michael Perry, of course, right, right off he starts talking about Norwegians. His family's mm -hmm. Norwegian mm -hmm. <laughs> in Wisconsin. <laughs> so I enjoyed that. Uh, you know, I'm trying to get through that one too. But yeah. that's Libby for you. Um, and the reason they're switching from the old app is the old app does not meet security standards. It's out of date. So they're trying to get rid of it. It'll be fading out um, very soon or uh -huh. down the road. So if you need help with it, let me know. But they do have a lot of magazines in there. So that's where you've been getting magazines? Yes. Uh, say, Laura, I've been looking at Hoopla today and uh, they mentioned that uh, there are some bonus movies that you can get uh, that <laughs> don't month, count, right? This, yeah, that don't count against your five per month, but they yeah. don't identify, at least I haven't found it yet. They have not found or identified the movies that are bonus this month. Well, um, I think they have it somewhere. I'd have to- Is it isolated? I think at the top when you're going through it, um, right. It might tell you bonus movies. I have seen it. It is there somewhere. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Here's, I'll share my screen. Um, at least I know for sure this is one way you could do it. Um, let's see. Up here, these little things going by, mm -hmm. um, there's a bonus thing. And they have a lot of bonus books. And um, you can go in there like that for bonus and then say bonus movies and they're going to show you the bonus movies for the month. Okay. But also other types of things too. Mm -hmm. And Hoopla has a lot of curious things like um, books that are not the, on the bestseller list right now. So you, you'll find a lot of, you know, if you're interested in genealogy, you know, reading about it, you'll find things there that, you know, you can check out and read too. But I'd give those... Um, that one movie, A Chance, it's pretty interesting on um, the different big genealogy companies. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. And then um, we were gonna talk a little bit today about what um, Tom sent, uh -oh. the photographs, <laughs> right? Uh -oh. Do you remember uh -oh. that? Let what, me see if I can find I that. <laughs> Uh oh. <laughs> um, you sent uh -oh. this. Uh oh. Do you remember this? <laughs> uh, yeah. You sent a link to this for me. To me. Yes. Yes. This is online photo databases. 
That's right. And if you scroll down, yeah, they have all these different databases. That I guess that you can find um, pictures, I mean, photographs from that might fit, you know, the area where you're looking, you know, that you're interested in. Some of them are free, some of them are, I guess. Are we getting some cross, some interference again? Yeah, interference from somebody. Yeah. Well, if anyone looks at these and finds something really neat, let us all know. <laughs> German National, well, back up. Yeah, go back. The one was German National Archives. Yeah, that okay. might be really something. Yeah, the early church back to 1860s. Uh, mm -hmm. It would be, yeah. Getty's the big that. one, of course. Getty, of course, yeah, Harvard. Yeah, <clears throat> there, that's a Library big collection. Of Congress, you know, that one's free. Yeah. And there's yeah. a lot of good Door County pictures hidden in there also. Yeah. And National Archives. I don't know if anybody's got any in the uh, Australia, but Scotland, some of, Ireland. Some of my yeah. people went to Australia. So. Well, are they um, are they just random? You have to browse. Well, let's see. Let's pick one. And well, not Jewish life. Let's go with uh, something we can do. That Ireland one. Okay. Ireland. I don't know anything about Ireland. I think you have to go down. You're going the wrong way for Ireland. Wrong way now. Wrong way. Yeah, wrong way. There we go. It. There it is. There. Okay. And I posted this link on the um, program for today on the library calendar where, you know, there's the program oh, with good. the Zoom link. It's it's in there under things that we were going to discuss today. So here you are. Um, what do you want me to search on? Look for independent age collection because it says, oh, no, Lawrence Royal down about four. Go down Lawrence Royal Cabinet, there's 17, 19,000 images. Oh, so it's a is. whole collection of images and it must search across all of the images. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah. So let's okay. see if you click on one, does if does it make it bigger? You double click on it? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. And you can oh, make wow. it really large. Creator, and it even tells, I think it even tells where it is. Mm hmm. So if you have, you know, if you have relatives or ancestors there uh -huh. in that time period, that would be very interesting. That yeah, sure would. Whoa. <laughs> How do I get out of it? <laughs> uh, uh, um, go to, um, okay, Escape. down at the bottom right, you see that little, okay, there you go. Don't click yeah. on that because that's going to make it bigger. Yeah. Well, it makes it huge. It, they're obviously very yeah. Um, yeah, full amazing, page. right? Yeah. So that's pretty interesting. I've I've got to explore that a little. I haven't really looked at this database yet, but oh, um, that's cool. So yeah. you have the link on the um. If you go to page. the yeah, if you yeah. go to our calendar, yeah. Um, I put it there. Okay. As um, here's our page here, and I have this section. I change a lot. Things we're going to discuss. There you go. Mm -hmm. And here's another one I thought I talked about the indexes. Yes. And this I came across an email somewhere. Does anyone know about this group? Yes. Yeah. You. Yeah. He's, uh, <clears throat> yeah I think. Let's see. Do you have to be a member of it to see the thing? They said remember. they're free to anyone. Some okay. of these are free. There you go. These oh, are, good. These are um, yeah, webinars that they have. Uh, and then the, you're right. I think the webinar itself is free. And I could be wrong on this. Well, I know it is free. But then yeah. if you can't watch it when it's offered, right, you have to copy, copy, then you have to be a member, I think. Right. So th okay. that, uh, that's what I think I read too. But um, yeah. there's some interesting ones. If you're, you know, keep an eye on it, if there's something um, might interest yeah, you. Go to, go to upcoming webinars. Yeah, there we go. Here, and that should tell you there's different ones than that. Mm -hmm. they're, they're very interesting. I mean, I've listened to several of them. And uh, if they hit your, you know, your interest, they're very well done. You know, here we go, Wisconsin Germans. Yeah. That that's when I would go to. I think membership to this thing is only like 40 bucks a year or to, you know, WSGS. So mm -hmm. then, of course, you can go to the Gina Rama then and other things. So I put those um, links on the um, page for today. So if anyone wants to follow up. 
if you ever have links like that that you think we should discuss, please send them to me and I'll put them on that on the um there's website. another one you might want to add. It's called Root Tech 2022. It's the a free three-day conference put on by uh, Family History Library, and it's all Zoom, okay? So, mm -hmm. and and uh, you sign up for it. Once you've signed up, it's free, okay? And they have a regular <clears throat> um, main conference hall, if you will, where you can see uh, sponsors and you can, it's like a big mart, I don't know how big it would be, market area where you can find whatever you want, you know? And again, it's all, what you buy isn't free, but seeing that is free. And then they have classes on different topics. And if you go to it, you can identify the topic you want. <clears throat> and it's almost like a course list of, of uh, presentations to watch on that specific topic, okay? So, and it's like I say, it's free and you can do it. I think it's, I think the, the individual topics, the website is up for a year until the next year when they put the next one on. So the 2021 one must be going to be put, you know, come down here pretty quick because the 2022 is first, fourth to the sixth, I think, of March. So they used to hold it in person, but with mm -hmm. COVID, they switched it all over to. Uh, yeah, and I think they got more. They got more attendance. Oh yeah, with it being virtual. <laughs> yeah. Of course, the convenience of virtual, but also yeah. free. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the thing. That's, yeah, that's, that's a big pull. Right. Right. Yeah. I mean, and, and if you want to learn, you know, if you're if you're Mormon, I don't know if anybody's Mormon uh, religion, but they also have classes on on Mormonism. Is that right? <laughs> well, I don't know what it is. Right, where it is, but. Um, if you're interested in that, but if you're interested in whatever topic, you know, it's, it, you might want to put that up, you know, if you can get to it, just zoom. It's, it's, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll put it underneath when I get a chance. Yeah. yeah. ROT. They have some very good presenters also yes. very yeah. knowledgeable in their field. So and they have a, a series of main, uh, speakers, main, and, uh, their various topics. Yeah. Not necessarily all devoted strictly to genealogy. Mm -hmm. So, you know, so if you hear, see something in the topic that you like, it's, you know, it's pretty good. So, and it's free. Big word. Yeah. Free. Right. <laughs> well, thank you. Um, I have a question that I'll throw out there. Does anyone do British research? No, no. I have, I'm just starting. I'm just starting to do it. Yeah, my wife's got some British relatives. Right. I need, I need to get there, but I'm, I can't get. Yeah, back I, haven't been, from I haven't tried yet. Here to there yet. So yeah, um, I guess that they just released the British census for like 1920 or something. Yeah, for recent, and but it, it apparently the only place you can get it is Find My Past, that database which you have to pay for. And then my friend is doing research and um, she found, she wanted a document and they charge something outrageous, like $20 a, a page or something, which is ridiculous. And they um, don't have it available anywhere else, at least for 10 years, or I forget what I read. Really? Yeah, it's just kind of really wow. frustrating and um, really annoying. Huh. But um, she yeah. did she did pay for one and here's what she wrote she wrote that um on the 1921 uk census it says my grandmother is an embroiderer at revel r-e-v-e-l and coy c-o-y in london does anyone have a clue where we can find that information about what that thing is i tried googling it up and down i cannot find a mention of it i'm well, kind I of think, wondering where I you'd find the, it. the coy at the end of the name stands in an abbreviation for company. Oh, so, so and then Rebel and company. You're yeah, right. It might be a, a uh, I think so. You're right. It's probably a typo or something. Yeah. Well, and it's it, it, reading those old documents is difficult because um, a lot of the words, abbreviations, shortenings of words are a little different than what we're accustomed we to. to 
Yeah. Um, and I think that I, I've seen that before and I believe it means company, like as if you would do CO and then maybe an elevated mm -hmm. Y. You'll see that um, often. Oh, I, I don't know how it's written, but it's a thought. I believe it's a company. Um, yeah, business. I'll have to look down that path. And you know, that goofy little F, I call it, but it denotes a double S. Oh, when you're yes. looking, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. It, it's not quite that's an F, but it looks exactly. Yeah, that, you could call it I thought that was only in German. Yeah. No, no, no. So. A lot of that in British. A lot really? of that. Mm -hmm. oh, I know it's for the double, double letter. Yeah. Right, right. Well, letter, um, yeah. That's funny. I have to start thinking about some of the others I've noted, but I've, in reading a lot of that stuff, I've kind of, you know, picked yeah. it up. Yeah. Well, that that does help a lot. So thank you very much. In doing work, you know, trying to track things down, I came across an interesting website of British newspapers. Um, I'll show you since I like showing stuff. <laughs> <laughs> British newspapers, all these pages. I had never heard of this before. And there's Find My Past up there. So the 1921 census, I guess it's the 21, not 20. So if you're interested, I haven't put that link anywhere, but I may at some point. Yeah, they have a, they have a, a, a hundred year, like we have what, 75 year um, hold on our census. They have a okay. hundred year, yeah. I see. So, so you know quite a bit about it already. Well, I I guess I've picked up a lot now that I talk about it. Nosing <laughs> around. <laughs> yeah. I still don't know exactly where we came from, but that's okay. That'll come in time. <laughs> Garden of Eden. Oh, I know. I'm related <laughs> to Adam and Eve. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. right. Or, or, or some, Charlemagne. Or, or Charlemagne. Charlemagne. I know. I was going to say that. <laughs> that was a he was he got around <laughs> oh i'll yeah. tell you that guy yeah um, all i know is i wish like on the program find your roots that someone would just give me this beautiful big poster yeah. of <laughs> all my relatives that, yeah yeah <laughs> i mean if you listen you gotta listen to what he says you know how do you feel about it well not only that but he'll say something really you know, really simple, like our genealogies, genealogists searched quite a while to find us. And then he, then he tells you what it is. And you know, they spent years looking yeah. for this. You yeah. know, it wasn't like five minutes, yeah. you know, they yeah. spent it was, years trying to it find It was funny on the last, yes. show, <laughs> on the last show uh, this week, earlier this week, they, um, oh, I didn't see that. Her one. name. I haven't looked at that one yet. Her name was Villa Senior. Yeah, they were both uh, Melissa Villa Senior. Yeah. I don't, you know, I didn't Villa know her, Spanish. but anyway, the point was, he he did make a reference, and he said it took us five years, and that's yeah. the first time I really yeah. wow. heard a reference yeah. I mean, I, <laughs> to that they've been working on these people for so many years. I mean, yeah. it would be likely, but I guess I never really thought about it. Yeah, yeah they go all yeah. over the world too. I mean, oh yeah, yeah, they just go. You know? Man, I could do with a researcher. <laughs> yeah, I wish they. I wish they think I was famous or something. <laughs> yeah. yeah, those are the only people they choose. No. Well, well, you got to do something famous. You know, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Not infamous. Famous. Oh. Okay, I prefer that. Yeah. yeah. The, the U.S. 1950 census is coming out this April. Just so you're thinking about it. Yeah. Already. Yeah. Wow. yeah. I don't know how long it'll take them for. It didn't take them very long to do the 40. You know, to get a uh, index. 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 Yeah. So. I'm, I'm I was looking a little bit like yesterday. Like, I know Family Search is probably looking for volunteers to index it if you want to do that. You'll, no, you'll be don't. able to look at things by enumeration district. And so if you know where somebody lived at that time, you can find them. You still have to search page by page. Mm -hmm. But on the Steve Morse website, they have a, uh, I was looking at it yesterday for Chicago. They have a way to look for enumeration district maps um, so that you can find out ahead of time what that ED number is. What's that website? 
It's uh, Steve, S-T-E-V-E-M-O-R-S-E dot -E -E org. Steve Morse does a lot of, uh, they call it one step stuff. Yeah. But one of the one, step? one of the things is finding enumeration maps for 1950 or for any year, really. Is this the one? No, not Steve. him. <laughs> that's no. that's where no. I am. <laughs> okay, what did I do wrong? It's stevemorse.com. Org. Org. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I mean, maybe okay. there you go. There you go. Too. I don't know. He does <laughs> a lot. Um, I've looked at his stuff from um immigration right. um naturalization aspect. That's where I first kind of Became yeah. familiar with them. I was, but he, he offers one for Castle cool. Gardens. Yeah, this is a place to go, <laughs> huh? You yeah. know what I yeah. don't. Re what I don't remember, um, Castle Garden preceded Ellis Island, but was the beginning year eighteen twenty, Tom? For Castle Garden? Yeah, that I don't know. Okay, well, because it is, well, well, here's. What does it say here? No. See, Ellis, 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 Island. Ellis was 1892. Right, right. And I know Castle Garden, which was in New York also, right, um, right. preceded it. And I didn't think it was as early it's as not, 1820, but I, maybe so. Yeah, yeah, it's not coming up as Castle. Um, oh, here. Um, yeah, it's search farms. Maybe it'll, I don't know. Maybe they do individual. 1820, ships. yeah. Baltimore passenger list, 1820, and so on and so forth. See, so they I, also, people also came in from New Orleans. They came into Boston, Philadelphia. I, know. <laughs> I swear, across, they came I swear that the my Virginia, Canada. I swear that my Virginia people somehow on some boat somewhere, they got here and all they did was float up the James River and just stopped because. <laughs> I don't think they went to any port that I can find yeah. them in. <laughs> oh, but it's I have one, one, just one brief thing that I found very useful, uh, which yeah. I'll pass on. And, and sometimes I did for many years, not think too much about it. But the use of timelines can really help your research. Yeah, I found. Yeah, I've been you know, toying that, with that. that. And, you, and you can do it. I mean, some people do timelines where you, you know, you use it to to say you want to find just a specific uh, historical fact or location or something for one person, you know, and so you go through and it, it, the timeline is the the things that you've looked up so you can keep track of so you don't repeat yourself. Mm. Okay, that's one way of using timelines and the way I use it more. Is, is when I want to compare, like I Linda has, my wife has a ancestor, <clears throat> a family who's all messed up because they started in, they started in Canada and then they went to Vermont and then they went down to, uh, back to Canada and then they went to a uh, small island in Lake Erie in Ohio, then they went back to Canada and then they went down to Sandusky, Ohio, and then they went down to Kansas. They came back from Kansas and came back to, to uh, uh, Ohio. Oh. Then they went back to Kansas, and then they went to Kansas City, and then they went to- How know, is that possible? <laughs> I don't know. Missouri, you know, okay. They went to St. Um, St. Louis in Missouri, and then he ended up dying in, in um, Muskogee, Oklahoma, okay? And the only and and not only that, but each of the families was multiple spouses. So the man <laughs> married one or two or more wives, and and they had he had they had children. Each family group had children, and to try to keep all that straight, you know, I just finally started making a timeline of everybody's activities, and then trying to compare, you know. And that's helped mm -hmm. a lot to keep it straight in my mind, anyway. So oh, that had to be a nightmare. Oh, it still what is. I haven't, I haven't. And then she, she, well, she's also the one that's got another, another ancestor in her dad's side that that he was an orphan in in Oklahoma in the during the uh, 
Oklahoma land rush. And supposedly he was found as an abandoned baby in a, in a wagon, wow. covered wagon in the Oklahoma ra uh, land oh. rush. So um, yeah, whatever. Good luck tracing him. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I, I don't know. I, well, anyway, so. <laughs> it could be worse. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I suppose. Yeah. My yeah. my husband's Turkish, and they didn't even have last names till the twenties. Oh, yeah. oh boy. Oh, there you go. You know. And then when they had to take on the last names, some in the family took one, some took another. Huh. <laughs> and I don't have any African American, you know, ancestors in either family, so at least I don't have that. <laughs> you know, yeah. I don't have, uh, have, have the cutoff of what eighteen sixty or. Prior to 1860. Yeah. No. And some of them. Kind of cut off. And, and then, you know, you're lucky if you would find a will that named the enslaved peoples by at least a first name. Most people, yeah. they just had no name. Because I've looked through an awful lot of mortality schedules and it would just say unknown slave, female, yeah. maybe. Mm -hmm. maybe. Oh, you know, yeah. so I think I really feel for the people trying to research their African American roots. Well, not only that, I feel sorry for those poor people. <laughs> well, I know. Yeah, I know. You know that I had to go live through that. So mm. anyway. Well, no, we're no. we're up on an hour now. Anyone have anything else to mention? I learned a little bit here, quite a bit actually. <laughs> and I I guess I have a question. Um has anybody in the group contacted or worked with the archives in College Park, Maryland. Mm -hmm. They're the group that's got photographs of all the military people and places and things. Wow. Just, just, just wondering if anybody's dealt with them and what their experience was. This is at the National Archives? Is something the, different? This is, uh, they're located in College Park, Maryland. This is, yes, some of the, one of the archives groups. Is that, oh, okay. is that separate from the Maryland archives, which I well, think are in Annapolis? That, that I don't know about Annapolis, but the- Okay, because I do, I do um, periodically search and whatever in the Ar Maryland archives. Okay. But I don't know about College Park necessarily. I believe this, the main group is in Annapolis. Maybe it's a- you know, a, a subsidiary type of thing. I don't know. Okay, but, I've um, right. I've seen some stuff from um, actually when I contacted St. Louis, they directed me up to the College Park Archives group. And the reason I'm asking is I'm probably going to go there this year. Our daughter lives in Maryland, so we're going. You know, so we're going to book a time and then go over to College Park. Mm -hmm. so, so it's part of the National Archives. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, you'll I'm have dealing to check on the Maryland thing. Yeah, I'm dealing with the Maryland State Archives. Not, okay. Not a part of the national. There you okay. go. Plan your visit. Right. <laughs> yeah. So it looks I, yeah. I, I was just curious if anybody has, you know, worked with them at all. I so worked, they they deal with work military? With military? Uh, they've, they've got a lot of military stuff, and I know that you can, I think you can get on there and search all of their photographs as well. Now, I haven't tried to do that because I've been off on, off on my Bohemian people, um, but I, I was just curious about that because uh, that's a place we're going to, I'm going to visit this year. Well, you know, um, just throwing it out, but you might, if you had time, just scoot over to the Maryland State Archives in case there might be some overlap or something. Um, okay. Just I worked with, I worked with actually, an, I, it's a, so another office of the National Archives that happened to be in, in um, Fort Worth because yeah, I was looking for the Fort Smith, Arkansas records, which is the federal district that had the Oklahoma thing, you know, during the land rush. <laughs> know where I'm going on that. And they were very helpful. You know, they, I told them what I was looking for and, and uh, the lady said, well, give me a few minutes and, and I'll pull what records I can find. And uh, they pulled them. And, and of course I had to get a, a identification card. Right. I think the card was good for a year or something like that. And okay. then uh, I could use it anywhere. You know, it just was, 
confirming that you're, a citizen, I guess, a citizen or something. And uh, there, it turned out they didn't have anything for me. And they suggested I had to go to Kansas City for the record because I felt the records were probably, court records were probably up there because I was looking for federal court records. Okay. Uh, but uh, yeah, they were very helpful. So. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking for actually some uh, World War I machine gun battalion pictures. I've got, a, we have, my husband has a relative and I've got a great uncle that was uh, in some machine gun battalions. Hmm. And so that's, I'm kind of looking to see if they've got pictures of that, hmm. so. Yeah, well, that's interesting. Um, anyone else? Or we will call an end to this meeting. <laughs> okay. Thank you, everyone. Thank it was you. good to see everybody. Bye. Okay.